Far from the humble fields and woods of Tyria, deep in the Maguma jungle, are mushrooms, the likes of which have never been seen before. From ethereal giant colonies that feast in the magic-rich tunnels of tangled depths, to towering, luminescent arrangements that light up the jungle. From the depths of caverns, where soaring mushrooms shower glittering spores from their gills, to the sides of the tallest trees, where mushrooms form platforms and stairways into the canopy. Most wondrous yet, hidden amongst the undergrowth, researchers have discovered sentient mushrooms. What makes these fungi so spectacular is immediately apparent. These mushrooms can move. Whether it's the sprinting mushroom grunts that chase down intruders, or the giant defenders that patrol the jungle floor. There are kings, their caps wreathed in golden crowns, and towering queens with entourages of mushroom soldiers. These fungi have adapted many wondrous behaviours that have helped them to survive the competitive Maguma life. This is the mushroom stomper. Its bright orange and white cap is a warning. Strengthened with horn-like protrusions and crowned with imposing spikes, the stomper's preferred mode of attack is to throw itself cap first at anything that moves. And when it does, it releases a toxic cloud that disorients and damages foes. And the mushroom bomber. Less flashy than its kin, but hiding a sinister surprise. This creature rapidly cultivates spoilings and sends miniature versions of itself to track down and attack any intruder. These spoilings can be catapulted great distances and run very fast. Another of the specialised mushrooms is the spike thrower. This beautifully coloured bright red mushroom lunges and drives razor sharp spikes the size of daggers into its attacker and it can attack from range with its detachable spikes. The spines are launched so far due to rapid pressure built up beneath them. Sugars in the mushroom's body cause the cells under the spines to expand due to a process called osmosis. It forces the membranes holding the spines to invert and act like a catapult. These mushrooms are impressive. Yet there is a fungi more ferocious. Lurking in the depths of the jungle, it attacks without discrimination and with devastating results. This is the Champion Mushroom Emperor. Its defining features are its projectiles, spines, spores, and a singular drive to fight. This mushroom will snare its foes and pull them into its grasp, trampling them or drowning them in spores. Still, there are some mushrooms that avoid conflict. Away from the safety of their kin, they have developed special survival tactics to stay safe from predators. This is a treasure mushroom, so-called because of its voracious desire to consume gold and other riches. The majority of its flesh is transparent and, to the untrained eye, these creatures simply disappear into the jungle around them. Creatures which have evolved to be transparent do so for the superior camouflage it affords. This mushroom even has a counter to the bright bioluminescence of its fellow jungle plants and animals. Its skin carries a black and red tinge which reflects light in a way that predators may find harder to detect, even if they have light of their own. And whether it's in the gloomy tunnels of tangled depths or the vine-riddled undergrowth and verdant brink, 
the treasure mushroom can pass undetected. Treasure mushrooms are so good at hiding, they can survive for much longer lifespan than some of its more reckless kin. One giant solitary mushroom paces the undergrowth of Auric Basin. Given the moniker Tyrannus, this secretive creature is an anomaly of its kind. Here, amongst the roots of these giant trees, he paces back and forth. He avoids combat and will run and hide if he is provoked. Quite why he leads a solitary life is yet to be determined. He isn't territorial, nor does he interact with others of his kind that patrol these pathways. But it is clear he isn't phased by jungle life. And both the size and variety of the mushroom colonies in this stretch of the jungle really emphasise how little these creatures have to compete for food and resources. Sometimes we can find ways to work in harmony with the fungi and turn their behaviour to our advantage. Here in Auric Basin, Tarichiki and other dedicated scrits have figured out how to grow friendly mushroom soldiers. It takes a while to break their defiant nature, but once planted, they can be conditioned to view their script caretakers as allies. And these little fungi will act as valiant defenders of packed forces. Even as far south as the dragon's domain itself, we see enterprising script growing and harvesting droves of mushroom soldiers even in the most hostile of environments. It's through the intrepid actions of scripts such as these that the fight against the dragon and its minions is so successful. And here in Tangled Depths, these mushrooms are used by the new hawk in their alchemy. Masters of potion making, the new hawk harvests these giant colonies and distill them into fantastic elixirs and concoctions. Some are used to evoke fierce courage in fighters, or soothe ailments and fatigue. The mushrooms and their spores have a profound calming effect on the creatures around them, and it's one of the ways the new hawk keeps their magnificent battle beetles safe and well fed. Whether studying these friendly mushrooms, or braving the domain of fungi beasts, there is no doubt that we have only just begun to scratch the surface of mushroom life. And through our observations, we can come to understand the role these fungi play in making the Maguma one of the most diversely populated places on Tyria today. <laughs>